COVID economy perspectives from the world's top 20 living economists on this episode of Unlock Your Wealth Today. Your life fully invested. Welcome to Unlock Your Wealth Today, your life fully invested. I'm your purveyor of prosperity and host, Heather Wagonhoff, and on this episode, I'm making success simple by helping you sort out what we need to be doing during this COVID economy. Whether or not you are pro-mask or anti-mask, pro-stimulus or anti-stimulus, in every case, we still have all of us to deal with the economic ramifications of what's been going on in this worldwide pandemic. And we have to make decisions, not only for our future, but what do we do interim? And to help me discuss that and bring that into better perspective, I have our featured expert and one of the top 20 world's living economists, Dr. Mark Skousen, joining me to help sort that out. If you recognize his name, it's probably also because of Freedom Fest, as if you're a regular viewer, you know how much it is my favorite holiday of the year. And we didn't get to go this year. We had the pandemic interrupting our celebration of free minds. And so hopefully we'll have a moment to chat about that as well on this episode. But let's get talking about our economy and more importantly, our money. Welcome to the show, Dr. Skousen. Thank you so much for being a part of Unlock Your Wealth today again. Well, thank you very much, Heather. It's a real pleasure. Now, the last time you were here was over the holidays and we got to talk about fun things, but now we're in the middle of this COVID kind of thing going. I don't, I, I can't even address this pandemic. Uh, and I'm struggling because, you know, my most favorite time of year is Freedom Fest and I didn't get to see you. We didn't get to have Freedom Fest. and. I mean, can we just talk a little about about what's going on economically as a result of this? Yeah, I'm really sorry, uh, Heather, that we didn't have a Freedom Fest. I, I always have a natural high during the summer uh, after Freedom Fest. Uh, I'm not enjoying that, so it's a bit depressing. It's depressing for a lot of people to be stay at home and uh, to not, a lot of people have lost their jobs. I'm, I mean, up to 40 million people losing their jobs. So it uh, is very serious, but in one week in March, everything, it was, it's amazing. And our livelihood uh, at that time period. So it is something that I anticipated in my January prediction issue of my newsletter forecasts and strategies. I did predict a black swan event that would derail the uh, the economy and the stock market and uh, also freedom fast so uh it is something that we've had we had an emergency meeting which people can see at freedomfest.com uh to talk about the uh terrible implications that this has there's, there's a lot of permanent damage that has been done to the economy uh, and to our lifestyle as a result of this. So it is something that we need to take very seriously. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because I'm a liberty lover like you and I'm a less government type of person as you, we, we've got some interesting things because the government told us, stay home, close your business. And so many of my friends that are entrepreneurs and business owners have been affected. So it, it would make sense, I guess, that they would have some way to provide for us some sort of remuneration for stopping our ability to be economically productive. But now we're getting another stimulus and we just keep printing money like, it's no big deal. I mean, what are the economic ramifications that people aren't grasping because the market's still performing? 
Well, I think that when you throw enough money at the problem, it gives you a shit. Uh, and so people aren't feeling the pain. They have the money to purchase goods and services and to continue their, their normal lifestyle to some extent at home. Uh, they're, they're not going on cruises. They're not going to sporting events. They're not going to concerts. Uh, there's a lot of things that is extremely damaging to our lifestyle. Uh, but the investment area is doing quite well. The stock market's doing uh, quite well. We've, we've made a lot of money in the markets uh, uh, and money sees and the government throwing money, but it really is creating a Humpty Dumpty situation. You know, out on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's men and all the king's women couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again uh, because we're facing five, six billion dollar uh, 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 deficits that we're not going to be able to make up. We've really dug a hole that we can't dig ourselves out of at this point. And that's why I think gold and silver have done as well, uh, uh, although they're Gold and silver are very volatile, and technology stocks are very volatile. Uh, but we 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 are facing a serious problem down the road, uh, and it, and it does worry me. I've I've always been an optimist, Heather, like you are, uh, about uh, how things are going. But I've turned a bit pessimistic about how how we've dug a hole that's so deep that we're not going to be able to get out of it. Well, yeah, I mean, because both of us kind of come from the same schools of thought and we're morally opposed to the stimulus because somebody else is spending our hard-earned money without our permission and th that part is super frustrating um, but you know we've got this disconnect when we're watching what's going on in the markets right now um, I mean is it with your you know pessimistic you know sort of kind of leanings now is it still a good idea for us to even be investing i mean are those doomsday people that like to predict crashes all of a sudden are, are we setting ourselves up for failure i don't think that uh we we have a temporary lull it's like we're in the middle of a hurricane uh and we are enjoying this uh, calm calmness. I mean, there are some riots in the streets and so forth, but it's nothing compared to what it could be. You have to remember that uh, it, we're not being taxed right, right now for this. We're being given money. The money is being borrowed. The money is being printed. And so it is way out. It is the Keynesian method. Keynesianism is very real here where we borrow the money we print the money, we lower the interest rates, everything is somewhat artificial. And so it's creating this uh, uh, era of good feeling because everybody has the money to make purchases and so forth. But at some point we're going to have to pay the price. This is the danger uh, that, that we're going to face in a couple of years. Uh, with higher inflation, they're already talking about raising taxes. If Joe Biden and the Democrats get in, they're talking about raising taxes, particularly on the on the wealthy. Uh, this is going to hurt entrepreneurship. Uh, it's going to make it much more difficult for us to dig ourselves out of this problem. Well, and I, I think that it's also going to discourage entrepreneurship. I mean, why would I want to produce if it's just going to be taken from me. I mean, I, as you know, I'm an avid objectivist. And so I just keep hearing Ayn Rand in the back of my head going, I told you so. Yeah. Well, she talked about the looters and we're, uh, we're, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, we're electing the, the looters of the world. Um, I do think that we, um, the tax situation is in a, a, a real concern of mine. Uh, Joe Biden just came out last month with his own tax proposal. He's completely eliminating the capital gains tax break so that uh, entrepreneurs who sell their business or sell their real estate 
or sell their stocks or bonds or going to or gold or silver are going to have to pay for up to 40% tax level the estate tax is going to be uh, more uh, draconian uh, uh, eliminating the stepped up basis raising the corporate tax rate across the board uh, it's an absolute disaster. So as much as lots of people are, don't like Trump and may be holding their nose in order to vote for Trump, uh, better choice in terms of tax policy, uh, although I do think that every all of us are going to have to pay the price in terms of higher prices with more inflation down the road. Well, you know, it's... Uh... Those are the challenges that are coming, but those are, again, you said down the road. When we get back from the break, I want to talk about how do we make money now? And I know that you have a few answers for that. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with Dr. Mark Skousen right after this. No time to read the best selling books for your business or industry. What if I told you you could enjoy the best and most meaningful parts of a book in about 12 minutes? Believe me, I'm Heather Wagonhalls and I'm making success simple by helping you learn on the go just like I do with text, audio, and video summaries from your favorite best-selling books and do it on the fly in less than 12 minutes with Steve Cunningham and read it for me. Join tens of thousands of leaders around the world, including yours truly, who use Read It For Me to learn the biggest ideas from the world's best leadership, sales, marketing, and personal development books in less than 12 minutes. All you have to do to begin reading best-selling books and enjoying your special rate for Unlock Your Wealth fans is visit unlockyourwealth.com forward slash read it for me or click on the link somewhere in this post. Learn on the go with text, audio, and video summaries from your favorite best-selling books and do it on the fly in less than 12 minutes. Visit unlockyourwealth.com forward slash read it for me and start your 12-minute reading journey now. Welcome back to Unlock Your Wealth Today, your life fully invested. I'm your purveyor of prosperity and host, Heather Wagonhalls, and I have been enjoying an incredible discussion with one of the top 20 living economists, Dr. Mark Skousen, about this COVID economy. And now I'd like to switch gears and talk about how do we make money. Thanks so much for sticking with us through the break. So, well, we've got all of this craziness coming down the road, but Right now, I want to still be able to build as much wealth as I can, create a nest egg as much as I can before somebody else uh, tries to legislate my wealth out of existence. And what are some of the things that we can be doing right now? Yeah, so I'm recommending uh, to take advantage of the Federal Reserve policy of zero interest rates and the, and the government's uh, out of control spending. So how do you profit for that? And I see there's really three different ways that you can make money. Uh, I've written about it in my newsletter, Forecasts and Strategies, which I think you can see. Um, yes, and I'm says, a subscriber. Oh, great. So the latest one is investing in technology, and uh, but also real estate. So the three areas that I recommend investing in uh, is real estate. Uh, real estate prices are going up. Mortgage rates are at extremely low levels. So why not refinance? Why not uh, buy real estate, rental properties, or what have you? If you're if you're afraid, which I can understand, uh, concern about dealing with renters who may not legally uh, be able to not pay, uh, then the better thing to do is to stay with the stock market, deal with commercial real estate. Uh, I have several recommendations in my newsletter on what you can do in, in that regard with real estate investment trusts. So that's a way to go. Um, the other, so real estate is a great way to invest and take advantage of the low interest rates uh, A policy. Mortgage rates are down to 3%. So it's really a great deal right now. The two other areas are technology, the online technology, Amazon, Apple, 
NVIDIA, Netflix, uh, there's a whole series of them that we recommend in the newsletter and others have as a great way to uh, profit. This is not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, they have stock market in general, but overall, uh, this is a great way to play the market because the easy money is going into the stock market. It is going into real estate. It's not going into consumer goods and services per se, but it is going into the markets. And then the third area is gold and silver. Now, gold and silver is extremely volatile, can go up four, five percent, and then it can decline by four or five percent. But the overall trend is upward because interest rates are low. That's a good thing for commodities. You look at copper prices. If you look at gold and silver, if you look even at oil prices, oil prices are now going up uh, again. So uh, the dollar is showing some, uh, this is all beneficial toward uh, commodities in general. And gold and silver are really good play, but it's not for the faint of heart. Uh, in, uh, in my uh, service the TNT trader we focus particularly on tech stocks as well as uh, stocks that uh, invest in gold and silver including penny stocks we're the only ones who actually have a portfolio of penny stocks uh, which can be a 10 bagger you could make 10 times your money uh, but on the way you may see a drop of 30 or 40 percent on the upward uh, 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 upward trend line mm-hmm now, I am actually, I also subscribe to your Fast Money Alert. So I've got the grocery stocks. I've got the precious metals. I follow that one pretty closely, and I've been doing very well with it. But this is the curious thing about the TNT trader that, that I'm interested in, is this penny stock arena. As somebody that has a significant investment in a small cap company that's a penny stock getting ready to be uplifted. Let's talk about what this 10 bagger uh, thing is, because this is where, you know, people hear so much. Uh, there's misconception uh, in the marketplace about penny stocks. Every, you know, they've made movies about penny stocks and, and their pitfalls. But but what makes them attractive enough that you would include them in the TNT trader? Yeah, the penny stocks are, uh, I said, you know, penny stocks are a gold mine during the bull market, but they're a land mine during a bear market. And a bull market, so these penny stocks are now coming alive and they're doing much better. And it's a great way to leverage your investment where you could make 10 times your money uh, because you're starting at such a low level. And these are exploratory companies. These are companies that have found a property that is valuable in copper and gold and silver. And so they are developing, they're, they're drilling, they're discovering these new uh, deposits. And then uh, if once they get going, they can easily be a acquisition by a major that will come in and say, well, we're going to buy you out and we're going to pay three or four times the money that, that you got invested in. So they're really a really fun way to go. I, I tell people there are two ways to make a lot of money in gold and silver. One is trading options on mining companies uh, and the other is the penny stocks. Since the penny stocks don't normally have any options on it, there's such a, a, a small cap and don't have the liquidity. You do have a stock because with the small cap position, uh, you may not have a lot of liquidity. So you got to buy these, uh, you know, they're easy to buy and harder to sell because of liquidity. So you need to be very careful and don't want to, you don't want to use a lot of your money, maybe 5% of your portfolio in these penny stocks. So we've created this portfolio of penny stocks. We have three of them in, now in the TNT trader. They've all gone up uh, a little bit, but they're pulling back and there's opportunities to buy when, when the stock prices are, are coming down during the correction phase. So the key is to buy these during the correction phase. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and you gave some really great information on your subscriber call about just that. So I know that our dear friend Roger is cooking up some great deal since you're one of our featured experts here at unlock your wealth today i know that we're going to have a special offer for those that are interested in becoming subscribers for the tnt newsletter but if other folks are interested maybe you know you have not just this type of aggressive type of of hunting for the gold mines but you have I mean, you're one of the top 20 living economists. So you have all kinds of different publications. Can you just share some of the other long-term, maybe more, uh, maybe uh, more conservative publications that you offer as well? Yeah. So I've been writing my general investment monthly newsletter called Forecast and Strategies. That's the the, the gold uh, one. Some people say it's yellow, but I tell them it's gold. And I've been doing it for 40 years, since 1980. I have a monthly newsletter plus a weekly Monday hotline that I give up-to-date information with specific long-term investment advice. So it's not a short-term trading service at all. It's very, very long-term. And we're into stocks and ETFs and mutual funds and uh, other income investing and so forth. Uh, we, I have a very good long-term track record. So if people go to markscousen.com, Mark Skousen information on uh, subscribing uh, introductory offer to the newsletter. I also have four trading services that I have where short-term trading, option trading, individual stock. I maybe one month. The TNT trader is one of those that is into technology and gold and the penny stocks. And then the other thing that I have is uh, the fast money alert that you mentioned. So we look for momentum stocks and we have been playing the gold market uh, as well as silver and, and uh, technology stocks that, that you're aware of. We have the uh, home run trader and then finally we have the five star trader. So these are uh, techniques, but we basically offer short-term trading. We we have a good record on all four trading services. So you can find out all about that by going to markscousen.com. Well, thank you so much for being a part of the show today. And I'm so sorry I missed you at Freedom Fest that we didn't have the opportunity to celebrate the gathering, the largest gathering of free minds. But I'm going to look forward to the next one. If folks want to find out more about Freedom Fest, where do they go for that website? So they just go to freedomfest.com and we do have a couple of uh, virtual meetings that we're scheduling. You can, there's an emergency meeting that we did last month uh, where we had 15 experts like Steve Forbes and Steve Moore and John Fund and people from uh, all over the world talking about the pandemic and the, uh, the impact on the economy and the markets and so forth. So that's available at freedomfest.com. And next year, we're at the Paris Resort in Las Vegas, uh, July 14th through the 17th, 2021. And we are hoping and praying that we will have everything together so that they'll let us meet. Otherwise, we are planning a plan B because we are going to have Freedom Fest no matter what next year. And we just don't know for sure. We do have a plan B in case uh, the government officials try to shut us down again. So uh, everybody should go on letter, freedomfest.com, check it out there. Excellent. Well, thank you again for participating in today's show. And for those of you without a pencil, never fear. UnlockYourWealthToday.com is here where you can visit Dr. Skousen's show page, get the links to all of his great resources and so much more. And if you're interested in his special offer for Unlock Your Wealth viewers, well, all you have to do is visit UnlockYourWealth.com forward slash TNT Trader. That's unlockyourwealth.com forward slash TNT Trader. Thank you so much for being a part of today's show. I'm Heather Wagonhalls. Now go out and unlock your wealth today. Unlockyourwealthtoday.com is produced by Heather Wagonhalls and the Unlock Your Wealth Foundation. Unlockyourwealthtoday.com and its affiliates are copyrighted 2018 with all rights reserved. 
For more information on the Keys to Riches Financial Wellness Series, please visit our website at www.unlockyourwealthtoday.com.